Hello everyone, today we have new video review with fresh kit from AZ Madeo. But as usual, let me invite you to check another video review with kit from this manufacturer which you can find here. And of course, don't forget to visit our website which you can find here. And of course, you will be able to read full review of this kit with detailed photos and text in English and Russian. As for today's model, as you can see, it's another 170 second scale kit uh, which copies let's say what if subject uh, it's Gotha uh, P60 D1 uh, this particular model is based on uh, old plastic but nevertheless it's still interesting because I mean this aircraft is not available in any other form in any other scale so now we have a chance to replicate it in 70 second scale uh, packaging is quite typical for this manufacturer here you can see comparison with my hand so it's not that big uh, we have this beautiful box art which was done by Mr. Hibner and on the sides we have some safety information and some other kits which are available from this manufacturer. On the back side there are marking options, three in total. As you can see paint numbers are given in Humbro paint numbers but nevertheless we have here ROM uh, designations so it will be easy to guess which paint you should use on your model. Uh, it's a side opening box so let's check what's inside. Inside we find this nice plastic bag with parts inside and assembly manual and decal sheet. So just give me a second to open it. Here we have assembly manual. This is a quite simple brochure. As you can see we have here a short history note, short um, uh, specifications data parts map and then here assembly process starts as you can see assembly process is explained with help of those um, let's say schematic images we have here a simple cockpit but of course you will be able to enhance it with some additional PE which you can source from some other kits and know that canopy should be a one piece element so you won't be able to open it in your model but we will see it further in the video review here we have decal sheet, just give me a second, I will focus the camera. And here you can see that we have all necessary symbols. There are all no symbols for the cockpit. So as I said before, you have to source uh, some old parts for extra detailing. As for the plastic sprues, there are three grey plastic sprues. For example, here we have first one which is dedicated to the lower, uh, let's say, fuselage half because it's um, combined together with wings. Here you can see some parts for the wheel wells. Uh, part itself features recessed panel lines, but of course ailerons and flaps are molded in, so you won't be able to drop them on your model. Here we have one piece uh, front landing gear. And note that uh, wheels should be assembled out of two halves. So maybe if you have a chance to find some resin alternative, you might replace them. Here we have another fuselage half. This one is a top part. Inside there are no position pins of course, so you will have to be careful with alignment. Each wheel again for the main landing gear uh, should be assembled out of two halves. Here we have landing gear legs. And overall molding quality looks Fine, I would say there is no flesh, but as I said before, it's um, a bit old kit, so you should be ready for some, uh, let's say, changes during assembly process. And here we have another plastic sprue. This one carries single piece nose part and also some elements for the engine gondolas, which should be attached um, below the fuselage, under fuselage, let's say. And then we have here a separate plastic bag with transparent part. As I said, it's a one piece part, so just give me a second to open it. And what we have here molding quality, as far as you can see, is good enough for this kit. Maybe you would want to polish it more because, as you can see, it's slightly muted. And maybe I would rather dip it in the clear or future or maybe some other glass gloss medium in order to get a more shine more shiny surface on your model so that's all for this video review as you can see it's another 
interesting kit from AZ model. It's quite an unusual subject. And if you have some previous experience of working with uh, such models, I mean, where no position pins and almost no detailing inside, and you are ready to add all this to your kit, so I would recommend to try it. I mean, it's a good, let's say, uh, differentiation from all those usual Mr. Schmidt's and Focke Wolves. As usual, I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below, and don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will be happy to see you as our subscribers. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video review as usual.